We now continue with our mesh uh, analysis and uh, the circuit that we've been working with we've replaced um, that dependent source with a resistor again as it was originally but now we have uh, replaced a voltage source on the left side with a current source so we have an independent current source in an outer branch and so let's look at how we're going to solve that we're going to start with um, KVL around mesh 2 and we'll do that just because uh, we don't expect things to change over on that side but we will expect to see some changes when we do um, KVL around mesh 1 so I begin in the uh, bottom left corner and we'll have 10 ohms so I'm looking at this voltage here 10 ohms times it will be I2 minus I1 plus 15 ohms times I2 plus 100 volts equal to zero. We can collect terms. We'll have minus 10 times I1 plus 25 times I2 equal to minus 100. Now we go on to KVL at around mesh 1 and if we begin in the bottom left corner and try to go around right away we run into a problem because how do we express the voltage across this current source in terms of the uh, the circuits mesh currents and the answer is that, that you can't this is analogous to when we tried to write a KCL equation at a node where there was a voltage source that was grounded and we're, we're needing to sum all the currents leaving that node and the current going through the voltage source we were not able to express in terms of the circuit's node voltages and so here we have the same thing and uh, likewise we have a trivial situation uh, we don't need to solve for I1 we don't need for I1 because I1 is constrained already to be 10 amps. Okay, the current source, which is in the outer, or in the outer, uh, in the perimeter of the circuit, uh, and so in other words, uh, all of I1 flows through the 10 amps, uh, 10 amp current source, results in I1 being defined. So therefore, take equation one, replace I1 in equation 1 with 10 amps so we'll have minus 10 times 10 amps plus 25 times I2 equal to minus 100 and uh, interestingly this will result in 25 I2 is equal to 0 and so therefore I2 is equal to zero amp. Now that may seem puzzling to you, but just think about it. If we have 10 amps flowing through in, in mesh one, then that will generate a voltage drop across this 10 ohms. That will be 10 ohms times 10 amps or 100 volts. So if I were to ground this node, this point here will be at 100 volts because of the voltage source and this node here we just found to be 100 volts because of the 10 amps that's flowing through the 10 ohm uh, resistor and so the voltage across this 15 ohms is 0 volts and therefore I2 is going to be 0 volts over I guess in this case minus 0 volts uh, over 15 ohms so it's 0 amps and that's how we have uh, I2 equal to 0 amps